So you can imagine what happens when my husband announces that we are going to go on the trip of a lifetime to Costa Rica. I'm totally freaked out because that is super duper far away and I'm going to have to get on a plane to get there and I have all this anxiety about being on a plane. But I calm myself down because I find online that there's this really cool monkey boat tour. And it's all these really cute little monkeys. They're called white-faced monkeys. They're brown, cute little white faces. They're kind of like the monkeys that you have when you're growing up, like the little stuffed monkeys. And I just can't wait to go and see these monkeys. So we get to Costa Rica, spend a few days on the beach, and then it's time for my big day, the monkey boat tour. We get out to the monkey boat, and I walk up, I see the captain, and I see this boat and it is about the length of a picnic table. And I'm thinking, ooh, what are we doing? What are we doing on this little picnic table out in the middle of nowhere? I, and I start to refocus my energy, and we get on the boat, and we start to sail down this river, and I'm seeing all these beautiful birds. I'm seeing these lizards, red parrots, all kinds of cool stuff. I look down and I see a crocodile. Well, that's a little weird, it's kind of a little, close to our boat. That's unnerving. It looks up at me with its big eyes, and I just kind of scoot over my seat a little bit and refocus again because we are getting ready for the monkeys, and this is what I have come all this way for. Our boat's going, it's sailing, and all of a sudden I hear our boat captain, Juan, and he starts to make these monkey sounds. And I look up and I notice that he's calling the monkeys and there they are. There's this huge tree full of monkeys. Not like one monkey or two monkey or three monkeys. They're like a hundred monkeys. It was a bit overwhelming, I must admit. And they're all crawling all over the trees. And they look so cute from that distance. They're just adorable. And then we get closer and we get closer. And then the next thing you know is we are literally right under the monkey tree. And I start hearing <laughs> And these monkeys are jumping all over the top of the boat. It's like being on Planet of the Apes. They are all over. I think they consume the whole top of the boat. And one of these monkeys looks over the side and you get <sighs> and his fangs are pointing out at me and I'm thinking this is not such a good idea. That monkey is not as cute as I saw it on that picture on National Geographic. And then the monkey boat captain pulls out this big bunch of bananas and he starts peeling them back one by one. And then he takes the bananas and he lures the little suckers onto our boat. And then he's luring them person to person to person to person until one of them lands on my shoulder. And I'm thinking, just breathe. You can do this. It's okay. It's just a little monkey. Just a little guy. And I start petting his foot. Oh, nice little monkey. Yeah, you're, you're a real nice little monkey. I think it was a different one than the one that had the fangs out at me earlier. It seems to be okay. Okay, I think that's enough. And I shove him off to somebody else. I'm chewing gum at that time. And I take this giant bite out of my cheek. And I was like, Oh, well, what do you do if you bite your cheek and it starts bleeding? You stop the blood from flowing. So I take my hand and I put it in my mouth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just put my hand that was on that monkey inside of my mouth. My heart starts beating like crazy. I'm having those heart palpitations and the hot flashes and the sweats. I'm not feeling very good right now. Oh my God, I have monkey venom inside my bloodstream. Oh my God, I'm gonna pass out. Oh my God, I am so gonna die. So I sit down, I put my head between my legs, just breathe. And that's the last thing I remember until I wake up at our house that we were staying at. And I realized that I had just ruined my entire trip. Why am I telling you this? Because we all have monkeys that we're dealing with. 
Anxiety affects all of us. But if we let the monkey stay on our backs, or in my case, on my shoulder, we're not going to be able to do the things that we really want to do in life. I want to travel. I want to meet new people. I want to be adventurous. But I can't do those things if I let my anxieties hold me back. So we have to take control of our anxieties. We have to acknowledge them, and then we have to put them in their place and refocus so that we can get on to doing the things that we're really meant to be. For me, I'm so lucky because I got a redo. And I got to go back to Costa Rica, and this time, it really was the trip of a lifetime. <laughs>